like any normal person have to wash clothes, right? I just happen to have a camera with me. Today is Friday. Uh, the boy is still out of school. Uh, he go back Monday. So, you know what I'm saying? He's still at home. Totally playing his video game the entire time. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. I do give him a little work here and there. I go on online and print him out some work, like some math and some articles to read and write sentences about or write paragraphs and stuff like you know, so I keep him busy, you know. I don't just totally let him play his brains away. You know what I'm saying? I keep I keep him busy with athletics and, and academics. Even when he's outside of school, you know. See I'm the uh, I'm the kind of person that likes to that, that cleans up but clean one room each day. <laughs> So yesterday I cleaned up the, the, the bathroom, the day before that, the kitchen. Today, I'm hit that living room, you know what I'm saying? We're not doing much today. Uh, I'll probably just take the boy to the park, get some basketball drills in, and uh, let him play in the playground, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that comes with the, the package, you know what I'm saying? If he, if, he, if, he, if he works out hard in the drills, if he practice hard, he get to play on the playground. If he don't practice hard, he can't play on the playground. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of the package deal. You know what I'm saying? Can't break that. I just signed him up for basketball. So he's back on the basketball team again. He hasn't played on the team in almost a year. Uh, he, was, he was playing football for like the past few months. He just finished that up. So back to basketball. You know what I'm saying? Academics and athletics. Academics and athletics. That's the goal. Okay, so my mind is always going. Of course, everyone's mind is always going, right? But as a artist and as a creator, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it, it goes even more at a higher speed, I would say. Because every week I have to come up with content, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to put online and to continue to grow my channels, my two channels that I have. Uh, I got the Hood Quality channel and I got my channel here, Man vs. Kid. Which man versus kid is, is is not too challenging, you know. I'm just basically turning on the camera and giving you a glimpse of what I do on a daily basis, basically, or a weekly basis, or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, but on the hood quality channel, you know what I'm saying? I have to. That's 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 more of a challenge because I have to come up with content, um, quality content, because it's hood quality. So I want to do actually more, at least. I want to I want to get into doing more videos. I, I think like two videos a week. It just it, it forces me to create, and that's what I want to do. You know, you create your life. So if I have to be forced to create, that's what my life is going to be about. Uh, but we'll see. But it's it's a challenge because my, my you know I you know I have to. So there's a few things I have to focus on on a daily basis. I have a son, of course, uh, my business. My, my, my van business, uh, uh, you know, then creating, creating, I write a lot, write stories, um, and you know, create comedy on my hood quality uh, skit channel. So it's, it's, it's pretty challenging. I love to do it though, but it's pretty challenging. Ron, what are you I never learned how to, I never learned how to type with one hand and blog at the same time, so I'm learning right now. Vlogging as I tweet, literally, huh? Wrong letter you saying? That's what I said, son. One of my ideas that I recently came up with yesterday, matter of fact, I mean, I, like I've been doing Hug the Kids, which is like a, a a movement that I have where I encourage parents to, you know, hug their child at least once a day. You hear me all at the end of my videos as I say, you know what I'm saying, one hug a day, take awkward away. Yeah, uh, Hug the Kids is basically an idea and I promote it and I encourage parents to hug the child at least once a day. And basically just being in children's lives, you know what I'm saying, and I, uh, I, I promote it in different ways. <laughs> so yesterday I was thinking like, you know, being, being from the neighborhood that I'm from, growing up where I, where I grew up at, you know what I'm saying, it was predominantly black when I was a kid anyway. As I got older, it became, it became Hispanic. You know what I'm saying, um, predominantly Hispanic. But when I was a child, it was predominantly black, predominantly black community. 
the, the lane I was going down was a parent lane. Now I want to narrow the lane a little bit more, in lack of a better term. I want to narrow the lane. I want to narrow the lane into, into reaching out to black parents. You know what I'm saying? I want to gain a following of black parents because, like I said, I grew up in a black dominated community and I, and I, and I know the struggle, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and I figure if I deliver my message to black parents and the black community, you know what I'm saying? Um, I might be able to help change lives or help change the black community, um, into being more united. You know what I'm saying? Because if we unite the black community and unite the black families in the black living rooms, um, you know, the black culture could grow stronger. We could have more uh, stronger families, such as dads. Dads and moms are under the same roof. You know what I'm saying? We, we have to create a stronger living room in order to change the world. So. I figure, yeah, that's what I want to do. So on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, um, I will start, I will begin to um, hashtag, you know, black community, uh, black, black culture, black people, black America, uh, black parents, black children. So I could start to, you know, try to gain followers from the black community so we could, so we could change our dynamic of how we raise our children and how we're viewed from white America, from all of America. I thought of this all by myself yesterday. Um, this has nothing to do, this, this I'm, I'm not, for any like white people that are watching this, I am not doing this to, to uh, be, um, I guess, how to, how to say it for lack of better terms. I'm not, I'm not be doing this to be racist. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing this to be prejudiced. I'm not doing this to be against any kind of cause. I'm doing this because of my experience, because of where I'm from, and, and because I would want to see, you know, people like him, you know what I mean, grow up strong as a young black man in America, to grow up strong. Man, what kind of basketball shoes are those? What's those, man? They're, they're twin the, the Rain Man, the, the Rain Man too. So listen, we are at the basketball court. Mister have left his shoes at his mom's house, so we are forced to come out here with some rain boots. You know what I'm saying? It sucks. I was thinking about it. Maybe we shouldn't come to the park, but I figure, no matter what. No matter what happens, we have to push forward some kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and win. That's in life, period. We got to push forward no matter the circumstance. So, though he has those boots on, we can't go full practice. We won't go full practice, but we will. Uh, he will uh, He will just give me 30 shots. He'll sit in the chair and give me 30 shots. Of course, a part of the package deal is them to play on the playground. Box, riding on kids, kids stuff, and it was actually fun, right? I know it is. Hey, I want a piece of that donut, man. I don't eat it all up. I want a piece of savings. So I want some milk too. My decision to to target black families, um, you know, with my my messages, like my hood to kids messages and stuff like that, you know, it <clears throat> has nothing to do with me being racist or racism or being or being against white people or any other race. It's just I think empowering um, black people is important. Um, I think, you know, young kids, uh, 
they need they need a, a how can I say it young black kids in, in in urban areas in certain areas they need they need both parents to raise them you know what I'm saying they need to grow up seeing um, that that they have a chance to make it in this world you know what I'm saying they need they need um, um, positive messages from from their adults that they see every day so we have to improve the lifestyle of black culture especially in urban neighborhoods that's what I'm that's what I'm for you know what I'm saying like I'm not doing this to be against white people or to even be you can have this I don't want it okay son or to even be you know uh you know with black lives matter or things like that like I'm not I'm not even I'm not even with Black Lives Matter at all. I don't affiliate myself with Black Lives Matter at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to go up against white people or the police or anything like that. <laughs> I'm here to empower blacks. That's that's about it. But yeah, I'm a phenomenal dad at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I engage to sex sometimes. I use such language as fucking ass sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I drink alcohol sometimes. That's just some things that I do sometimes. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, after all that, I am a phenomenal dad. You better believe it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That he's saying in there, I don't know. But anyway, one hug a day takes awkward away. We change the living room. We change the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think your parents are awesome. Keep being awesome. Um, keep hugging those children at least once a day. Um, all my fellow black parents, you know what I'm saying? I think we could work together and I think we could um, bring the community closer and we could and we could empower ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah, I think it's very possible. We just need to spread this, these kind of messages like mine and yours and, 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 and anyone else that has positive messages for a black community. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, have a good day. I will see you guys next time. Today is Friday. Parents, get a babysitter. Go out and enjoy your weekends. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and do your stuff. It's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. All right. Have a good weekend. I will see you guys next time. I have a white mustache. <laughs>